<laughs> See, I'm always laughing because I'm always happy, my nigga. So, it's another beautiful day here in Asmara, Eritrea. May 3rd, Tuesday. And I'm patiently waiting for my mother to get ready. I'm already ready. And she's just taking her sweet little time. So I thought I'd just come out here and uh, vlog, I guess. So today we're gonna go walk to Katama, which is downtown. And then, yeah, I don't know what we're really gonna be doing. Um, maybe look for some jewelry, I don't know. Look at the stores for some shoes for grandma. And I don't know, random things, random things. Just look around, shop around. Yeah, so it's so hot. So I can't wait to start walking. Look at the sky. I don't know why it looks so different out here. It's so much more like vivid, so much realer, you know, so much bolder. Check out these clouds. Hopefully you can see what I see. Can you all see that? It's just so like different. I noticed that the minute I walked in this country, even at nighttime, the stars, everything's more bold. The clouds, you see that? I look crazy. Dang. <laughs> oh, my auntie is sitting right here. <laughs> She's looking at me like I'm weird. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna start off by giving some kids some candy. They've been asking for candy. So we're gonna just start off by doing that. And then I have some CDs that I wanna give them. Um, from a homie homie CDs that I haven't gave to anyone yet so I thought it would be best to give it to these kids out here but the teenagers and uh, yeah that's about it then we're gonna go to downtown Katama and look around in the stores and see what's up see what's going on what's going down in the hood just getting in downtown Katama and then yeah the rest is a mystery so stay tuned mom here we go Moderna. Uh, Moderna, Moderna. I'm at Moderna for the first time. I'm stepping foot in here. Hi. Cappuccino. Cappuccino, yeah. Are you sure? No, no. How the cappuccino? How the cappuccino? How the Anyways, I'm at Moderna. Brookie, do you remember this place? And Sarah, <laughs> the people I was with in 2012, we came here enough times. We came here enough times, so I'm here. We have a pizza and a cappuccino. My first cappuccino being in Asmara. That's crazy because their cappuccino is the one thing that's just amazing. My mom got marchiato. Could I point it at you? Oh. <laughs> Mom, don't talk unless you want to be in it. So, yes, it's not good for the viewers. They want to see who's talking. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm, I'm at Moderna. 
we looked around some stores and I didn't give any kids any candy yet because they were in school by the time we were leaving to come here so when we get back hopefully we find those kids that, that are waiting for their candy and also you know give some CDs out so that's <laughs> And that's that. <laughs> Alrighty, so my stuff is here. I got my pizza. My mom got her whatever biscuit. <laughs> and here's my cappuccino. So good, y'all. My first one in Asmara. And my mom got... What is that? Marchiato? Marchiato? <laughs> yup, yup. Bon appetit! Oh my god. This cappuccino is so good. Mmm, but it's so hot, I can't even hold it. Hold it, hold it. Yo, like this. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh. I just spilled it. Time to go. Okay, so we just finished our cappuccino and moderna. And guess how much it was, y'all? How much was it? Fifty-one dollars for two drinks and two little. No, oh, did I say dollars? Fifty-one. Fifty-one nakba <coughs> for two cappuccinos and one pizza and one little cake. So it's the day in the life, y'all. The day in the life. So now we're just gonna keep. And it's raining. That's why this shit is on. FYI, I look like a Muslim now. Hey, what's up to all my Muslims? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that. So now we're gonna pretty much head home right away. It's raining out here. It rains every single evening, which is nice because it's so hot during the day. So yeah. Check out the full rainbow, y'all. That's crazy. I've never seen a rainbow so full. It was like a full, complete circle. <laughs> Anywho, that was dope. Whew. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Cousin store. Hey, you you're in it. <laughs> there. <laughs> Well, we found two kids that wanted candy. Oh my gosh, guys. You'll never believe what I just seen. I screamed. A head. Legit head. Can you imagine? I seen a head, a sheep's head on the road. Oh my god, that was so scary. And I screamed. Oh. 
I don't even, I, w I wish I could show you guys, but I would never see that again. Mom, you want to take a video of the head? <laughs> there was a head, a sheep's head, just on the floor. Oh my, oh my god, this country is so messed up. Man, Anne. Mom, you want to look? Hey, girl. Mom. <laughs> so I made it home. Um, me and my mom. So we went to Moderna, that coffee shop, and chilled out there, walked around, looked for, you know, clothes, jewelry, things like that. Good time, good time. And then, yeah. We didn't really find um, many kids outside for some strange reason. All the kids that have been bothering us for candy this whole week. Um, we couldn't find them. Only two kids or something. So we gave them candy. And the CDs. These CDs. <laughs> I was trying to... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to give them out to people, whatever. Because I have a few of them. Like 15 or something of these. Mixed mixtape. Mixed so, um, so far I only gave two people this. Because I'm just trying to, you know... Um, find people who would appreciate this not just anybody so I gave one to my cousin who's like 18 or 17 and he was like oh is this Sandman <laughs> and I was like no no the homies that's pretty cool he knows Sandman and he knows I think he kind of knows um, Yoni and so I gave him one and I gave another person one who was working at a CD shop they were playing some English music so I gave him one and yeah you know you just got to support your people and why not you know while I'm in a summer I might as well give out these CDs so yeah so that's that. I'm just gonna chill. We just got home, so we're gonna chill out with the fam, you know? Eat. Buna, of course, coffee, because that's like five times a day, six times a day, you know what I mean? And that's that. So, good day. <laughs> good morning, y'all. So it's six in the morning, and we are about to leave to go to Adi something. Um, I'll let you guys know exactly which Adi it is when I ask again because I forget already. It's a hard name. Adi means, for those who don't know, it means like, um, like kind of like the countryside. That's what it means, the countryside. So, yeah, I'll give more information in a bit though. I already asked so many questions and I already kind of forget. Plus, it's too early to be thinking right now. Um, why are we leaving at 6 in the morning? I'm still trying to figure that out. Like, it's only a half an hour drive, luckily, too, so. But anyways, that's what we're doing. We're just waiting for our ride. It's so nice outside. It's not too hot. Just perfect. Um, yeah. I, I've, been, I've been to this Adi, um, to this countryside, like, when I was here in 2012, I, w I went. But they now it's all like renovated and nice, so I can't wait to see. Um, my mom keeps repeating that I'm gonna love it, so yeah, pretty excited to check it out. Um, this place is like where my my grandpa grew up, you know, where he grew up and stuff. So they renovated the house real nice now, but it's where my grandpa grew up when he was a baby. My grandpa's no longer alive, but yeah, so their property so it's pretty dope pretty dope can't wait to see it can't wait to check it out and yeah <laughs> you guys can see I've been I'm getting used to this uh, whatever you want to call it in English I don't know um, scarf thing I'm getting used to this <laughs> I might actually f continue this trend when I'm in Winnipeg for real for real um, you know Guadalajara Let's see if you guys can see this view. This view is so beautiful. Let's see. You hear the birds chirping, the chicken making their noise. TIA, y'all. This is Africa. Anyways, let's see if you can see this view. So beautiful. I'm sure it's way more beautiful in real life, but you know, I'm just trying to show y'all at least so you can have an idea of what my view is like. <laughs> so, yeah, 
I guess that's that. Patiently waiting, man. I hate waiting. We woke up at like 5.30 and it's like, what, 6.15 now and the dude's supposed to be at tech, so like, it's not cool, man. It's not cool. Like, again, I don't even know why they scheduled this for 6 a.m. when it's a half an hour drive. It just doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh. Yeah. It goes blue for the ocean, red for the blood, green for the land, yellow for the sun above. I do this for theory, I do this for IG, my country's full of gold, I fight this for me. I never had to make it, I'm a son of a rebel. Nothing can stop me, no lead, no metal. Say hello to the bad guy, yes I am the bad guy. I come from the bottom, now man fly, thanks to I'm locked. I will not stop to get to the body that I focus for the top. Need it like Moses, or you like Sporches. This is for Sawa, 12 year old soldiers. This is for the mothers who cry for was this a That's what it is, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, our driver, I thought he was gonna be some old guy. <laughs> He's a uh, cute. <laughs> He's very cute. And, yeah. <laughs> Forty-seven. Yeah. That's right. Dadbiff.com world premiere. Young us. Gates for what? What? Gates for the green seal. Nigga, I'ma live like it's my last. That's true. Worry about them bitches we done had. Baby, I'm so focused on this cash. I said, baby, I'm so focused on this cash. Yeah. She, she wanna roll, cause she see me in that ride. I ain't got no time, gotta put her on the side. You can't come between it, between it. You can't come between it. I'm so focused on this cash. Nah, BS Bezel, my rock. Is that she was it? My nephew. My nephew. My nephew. My nephew. How's it be? And that's what. I'm 
This is so scary. My nephew? Oh. This is so scary. Oh. And I'm actually not scared of heights usually, but this is crazy tall. Hey, Shadi. Hello, Shadi. <laughs> Hello, Shadi. Yo, this is tall, eh? This is scary. <laughs> Italians made this. So you guys, this big wall on this side, then on this side, you got water. Italians made it years, years, years ago. It's the most amazing view. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Bye-bye. See you in a few years. So y'all, we made it. This is my grandpa's house that has been newly renovated just a couple years ago. It's called, oh my gosh, I forget already. 
Oh my god. I did get that. I did get that. Hopefully you got that right. So here it is. It is gorgeous. Mom, what did you say again? Yeah, I did get that. So yeah, this is this is it. My grandpa's house. Yeah, my mom's dad. Hi, mom. <laughs> this is outside. That's the van we came in. What a fine looking brother that drove us here. Dang. Fine, fine, fine brother. It is gorgeous, y'all. It's about 40. 30 to 40 minutes away from uh, Asmara, the city. There's our coffee. Wooden. That's my grandma. Real nice, yo, real, real nice. Oh my gosh, I just saw a lizard. <laughs> I just seen a lizard. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, 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 yo. This is too much. Yo. Oh my gosh. Oh, how am I gonna sleep here? Anyways, let me not ruin the moment right now. I'll definitely let my mom know when she's off the phone. Anyways, oh my gosh. Yeah, anyways, oh my gosh. So this is my grandpa's house, like I said. Obviously, years ago, it didn't look anything like this, so it's really nice right now, renovated. And um, yeah, all my habashas know that this is how our typical nice house would look like. Everything's all separated like that. Um, so, yeah. Dang, as if there was a lizard. It, as if I just seen a lizard on the wall and it just like <laughs> anyways uh, so i'll be here for um a good two three days three nights i'll be here um beautiful home the only problem is is that it's not in asmara city so that's why my family likes to stay at the other house in asmara the city that way it's easier access to a lot of things um shopping medical care all that all that so pretty dope the view here is just Magnificent, magnificent. Oh, damn, look at it, guys. Hopefully, you guys can see what I see. So, this is where, like, my grandpa grew up, you know, when he was a little kid. This is called Adi, so this is like the countryside, you know? Very, uh, you know, some of it is poor, I would say, but obviously rich at the same damn time, because this is just like real nature shit, like real, you know, nature, God's creation. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I'm gonna tell my mom about this lizard, so bye-bye. So I told my mom, and guess what she says? Don't be a baby. Yo, I hope that Lizzie comes back. Just for her. 
so that she, and the funny thing is if it came for her, she'd be terrified. Ciao. <laughs> they don't say a word. <laughs> has a baby on his back. And he's what, five? Ciao. <laughs> so I just finished eating my breakfast slash lunch. I had should have <laughs> with yeah lots of bed better um so yeah i'm so tired now ate i drank so much water yo i drink i've been drinking so much water on this trip i've been buying like this these right and uh i drink like man i can i've been drinking like at least like three two to three a day I guess that's not too much, but I don't know. Two to three though, for sure, of this. And now I'm feeling so exhausted. I've been wearing my shades all day, all morning. I think it's around like, it's not, I think it's like 12 noon. We left the house around like six, by 6.30. And then, so now it's like around noon or close to one. Um, been wearing these all day, like I said, because, uh, you know, I'm not wearing makeup again. Uh. That's nasty. So, yeah, I'm so tired now. Um, I think I'm going to pass out right after this. So, like, I, I'll be here for the next uh, for the three nights, which is all good, cool to me. If you've noticed, um, my trip hasn't... I came to Asmara literally just to um, see my family, and that's it. That's the main reason why I came here. So um, there was no partying or no going to no bar, or no, you know, having too, too much fun. My type of fun. Um, so hopefully, you know, next time I come here, I'll definitely come with, a, like, a group of people. You know what I mean? That's the best way. Man, in 2012... I came here with like me, my mom, my sister, and then my mom's best friend, and then her family, so their kids and stuff who are just a couple years older than me. So we came here together, so man, we had the time of our life, like for real, for real. And then we met our, we met some, some friends in Asmara while we were there. Literally in the first week we were in Asmara, we met some Americans. Um, they were real, real cool, you know. We still talk to some of them till now. 
real cool people. We had the time of our life. So literally every day we would link up and we would be out. We would link up by noon and we would just spend the whole day together, the whole night together. Wow. So, my bad. People came in the room and interrupted me. And on top of that, my card was full, so I had to stop and redo this. But anyways, did you guys see the bug that was beside my head? Oh my gosh, when I checked the video to see what I was saying last, I noticed that this bug was beside my head. I'm so grossed out. I cannot wait to go home. Trust me when I say that I can't wait to go home. I came here just to see family. My mission is accomplished. That's it, I'm ready to go home. That's why I made this three weeks. And that's why before I even left, I always said I can't wait to go and I can't wait to come back. That's what I kept saying to my mom. I can't wait to go back home to Asmara and I can't wait to come back to Winnipeg. And I can't wait to come back to Winnipeg. I'm done. Oh my gosh, I'm sick of these bugs. I'm sick of these yeah, bugs. Another day. I'm sick of these bugs. And not another dollar. <laughs> um, I miss working. I miss working. I ain't making money. Oh my God. But anyways, so we're just chilling out with the fam. And look what someone gave us as a gift. <laughs> Ew. Can you see it? Wait. Oh my gosh, someone gave us a chicken and some eggs that are in there. I imagine that someone giving you chicken as a present. Isn't that funny? This is Adi. Still here, by the way. Um, my grandpa's town where he grew up. So yeah, someone, my, my dad's auntie gave us um, my dad's, hi. Come here! So, uh, <laughs> my dad's auntie gave us a, um, a chicken. It's pretty gross. I'm acting like a white girl, eh? Or, I shouldn't say that, but, uh, I don't know. I'm acting like whatever. Spoiled. I'm afraid of a lot of animals, y'all. Like, I'm really afraid of chickens. And, I'm really afraid of chickens. Cats, mice, I wouldn't even look at. Um, what else? Yeah, sheep and stuff I'm okay with. I can be by them. I just don't want them touching me or anything like that. But um, yeah. So, just chilling out with the fam. When I woke up this morning, I had another episode where I'm just wanting to be in Winnipeg in my own bed. You know what I mean? But after I take a shower, every time I take a shower after that, I'm like fresh, yo. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, yeah, I can't wait to go home though still, for real, for real, I had enough, I think, you know, so nice to see family. My total stay here is three weeks, eh? I feel like I've been here for two months, legit, two months, but, and I have like another week and a bit to go, so can't wait to get home and continue on with my journey in life. So much things to look forward to. Staying in this Adi for um, three nights in total. So we have two more nights to go, two more nights to go. And then we have a wedding to go to. And then um, a couple more family that I need to see that I'm actually very excited to see on my dad's side. And then, yeah, pretty much, you know, a week and a bit left. So I can't wait to get home and I hope I make it home safe and sound, y'all. I'm actually very scared to get back to go on a 14 hour flight again from here to Egypt. No, no, from Egypt to Toronto was 14 hours. So hopefully I make it home safe. God's will. And yeah, I guess yeah. that's that. Yeah. I mean, shit real out here. Shit real life. We out here trying to get it in this limited time. See, 
I just want it so bad so Live this life nobody would have thought I'd ever have ever Worked had. on my mind, did the grind Now I'm thanking God For the changes and the places I've traveled at